Hello everybody, my name is uh, Reggie and I'm the founder of Haitian Freethinkers. Haitian Freethinkers is a group on Facebook, so please feel free to look us up and search for us and um, ask us questions, etc. I made this Excel sheet because I'm interested in the Haitian school system because I think um, education is going to be the key to help us reach our goals essentially okay so uh, on the spreadsheet you have on the left your American educational system and on the right you have the Haitian school system uh, I got this information primarily from my father-in-law uh, he was gracious enough to explain to me the um, the grade system in Haiti as it compares to the American school system and I'll show you why all this is important in a, in a minute okay so the layout is as follows as you can see grades uh, preschool level um, they have two grades Enfantine 1 and 2 for kindergarten uh, we have this and they have that uh, for the middle school we have 6, 7, 8 they have moyen 1 and moyen 2 and at moyen 2 they take a, a test in high school you have 9, 10, 11, 12 obviously here is the high school and so on and so forth the total years in school before college for average American students um, is 13 years and for Haitians is 15 years and then most people choose to if who go to college they have about two years of the associates associates level and then bachelors masters doctorate and so on and so forth okay all right let's focus on the Haitian side right now uh, according to my father-in-law he told me that he believes that about 60 percent of Haitians uh, who were able to go to school reached or completed the first level which is elementary okay from there he believes that only about 25 percent complete the middle school level and then from there he believes that only 12 percent was uh, able to reach or complete the uh, high school level and then from there he says about um, 3% 3 to 5% um, is able to go to college um, and then on top of that during my research I found out that Haiti ranked 177 out of 186 as far as nations who spend on education um, the literacy rate is just over 50 percent and 90 percent of schools are private which means that if you don't have the money to send your your kids to school then they're they're, they're out of luck so really we're, we're dealing with um, about half probably half or less of the population that accounts for these numbers on the left side uh, I got this number from a website um, for the year 2010 it said that about 88 percent of Americans graduated high school I just want to have some stats to compare again not everything is um, official and things change but this is just to get a general idea of the differences between the, uh, the two school systems okay uh, all this is important because um, Haitian free thinkers um, is interested in promoting skepticism, ration, rational thought, critical thinking, and so on and so forth. But I realize that we are facing a major problem because of these numbers. I myself, I, I started school in Haiti, uh, but I came over here and I was placed in the third grade. And I wasn't introduced to what I would call um, critical thinking at a, at a solid level until I got to college in my associate years and um, and I took philosophy and so on and so forth uh, so I think I think this should be introduced at least in the middle school years and um, on through high school but if if about half of the population of Haiti is getting some sort of education and about 12% of them um, reaching or completing high school 
and from my conversation with him my my father-in-law it doesn't seem like they're being introduced to critical thinking as far as I can tell and um, 3% of them are able to to go to or, or, or a complete college then it looks like we, we have a lot of work ahead of us which is um, why I decided to make some material in Creole for um, one of my target audiences which which are those who are you know more than 30 years old and are not you know really Americanized that is that their primary language is is not English I'm really interested in um, introducing to those people some basic ideas about critical thinking so on and so forth and I take it um, for granted that they may not have completed um, high school or college um, as these numbers show um, and basically I'm hoping to find um, a person who speaks Haitian Creole who is able to help me make some podcasts maybe some videos in the near future so that we can have some materials so that when we do engage people in the Haitian community and they're uh, surprised that they're Haitian non-believers, skeptics and so on and so forth we can have some material materials to hand to them so that they can listen and we of course invite them to ask questions and do research but as of right now um, a lot of people in that category the 30 and over you know they're probably busy just you know working and so on and so forth so uh, we'll see how that works out now for those who are quote unquote Americanized they're more used to the system we can um, refer them to a lot more sources that are in English so that's what I'm interested in, in, in achieving I'm interested in filling that gap so that I can reach the people who are basically undereducated uh, a lot of times to no for fault of theirs so that's my goal um, thank you once again my name is Reggie and I'm from Haitian Freethinkers <laughs>